Today is what? Today is Wednesday, the 24th of January. I gather that the murder accused, the former MP, Jolian Silvera, is being scheduled to go to court tomorrow. He's been a resident, or should we say a visitor, at Her Majesty, uh, no, not Her Majesty anymore, His Majesty's pleasure, in a lockup in a jailhouse somewhere in Kingston. Yes, for the last several days, having been incarcerated last week, Friday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Today, six days. And uh, I see a report where it is being suggested and denied yeah, that he's been given preferential treatment. The other inmates or detainees have to be sleeping on concrete. He has been given a sponge. Yeah, while the others have a bounce it upon the cold concrete. The police superintendent saying, no, not true. The sponge wasn't provided to him as any special arrangement. It was always there and was being used by the previous detainees. Yeah. Well, I gather he's due in court. He's to be taken before the courts tomorrow. And, uh, <laughs> ah, boy. I gather as well, several high-profile people are being interviewed or to be interviewed in relation to the investigations into the killing of Melissa Silvera. And I gather the line of inquiry being pursued is whether they tampered with the crime scene or assisted in the covering up of the crime scene or tampering of the crime scene. That is the line of inquiry that they are to be questioned in relation to. One of those being a current member of parliament and senior member of the People's National Party. And I gather two former MPs, also of the PNP, are to be questioned, or should we say interviewed. One is currently overseas and is being told to make himself available, ASAP, back here, for an interview. Yeah. Remember when this story took that dramatic turn in December? It was being suggested that there was an attempt to cover up. Well, you heard Fitzbailey in that media conference last week saying that, no, there was no real attempt to cover up. So if there was no real attempt, then it could have been incompetence. Incompetence by the first policeman who went on the scene, the sergeant from Stony Hill. But it is also being made clear to me that that police sergeant took a photograph of the crime scene. And that photograph is proving to be very, very crucial in saving the day where the killing of Mr. Silver is concerned because it is that photograph that he shared with his fellow officers that provided the crucial spark to the investigation. Yes, and ultimately led to the police refusing to give permission for the body of Mrs. Silvera to be cremated. Because if the body 
was cremated, we wouldn't be here today. There would have been no post-mortem or nothing to do a post-mortem on. So, no cremation was permitted because to cremate a body, you have to get the permission of the police. Yes. So no cremation was done. One other interesting bit of fact where this matter is concerned. You remember some years ago, the young, you know, leave that alone, leave that alone. 